These are the untold horrors and secrets of Jurassic World's experiments, with many of these not even being shared to the public. Unknown to many people, Masrani Global actually bought InGen in 1998, and by 1999 had access to Isla Sauna and Isla Nubla. And this is where our story really begins. As in 1999, a group of InGen scientists were sent to Isla Sauna to start with experiments and the first iteration of hybrids with the Spinosaurus. And who owned InGen? in 1999? That's right, Masrani Global. And by 2000, they'd already promoted Dr. Henry Wu and brought him on board, where Dr. Henry Wu had started dabbling with genomes, with also the raptors in Jurassic Park 3 being a byproduct of the Masrani Corporation, which is why the raptors from the Lost World Jurassic Park are completely different from the Jurassic Park 3 raptors, with the Jurassic Park 3 raptors being extremely intelligent, able to communicate, and were just generally more advanced. They had felt as if they sought revenge for their eggs being stolen. They were also more skilled and could understand commands given by even Dr. Grant. It was also believed that these raptors could even be the precursor to the raptors of Project Ibris, which is something we'll talk about later, and how they created a fifth raptor. And if you want to know all about the fifth raptor, check out this video here. Now, the timeline of Jurassic Park 3, which is 2003, to the Jurassic World frame, which is 2015, is nearly a 12, 13 year hiatus. So what could have gone on before then? Well, I'm here to fill in those blanks and all the untold secrets of the Jurassic World experiments. In 2002, the construction of Jurassic World begins. And at the same time, Dr. Henry Wu and a team of scientists are still going back and forth is the sauna. And sometime pre-February 20th in 2003, something described as being an accident by Henry Wu is left on Isla Sauna. Now that could be referring to the Spinosaurus or the Jurassic Park 3 Raptors, but my belief is they do actually actually transport these to the Jurassic World Park in 2004 and keep these in the restricted section for potential more experimentation. Now the restricted section or Sector 5 is a place in Jurassic World where they kept everything under wraps and restricted from the public and the public eye, where many of their dirty and dark secrets are kept. But before we talk about what was in the restricted section, could they have really taken the Spinosaurus from Isla Sauna to Jurassic World? Well in essence, yes they could. But we do know the Spinosaurus does show up in 2016 on the Manticorp Island. But that could easily be explained that they did actually take that from Jurassic World after the fall of it. So it could have indeed been stolen from Jurassic World. And where would it have been stolen from? The restricted section. What do they keep in there? Well, let's get into it. In 2004, construction of Jurassic World had finished. And they hired Clay as an intern at Jurassic World, working with Bright Minds and other interns. It is also in this year where they transport all the dinosaurs from Isla Sona to Isla Nubla. And in 2005, Jurassic World opens to the public and receives 98,000 visitors in its first month. After this opening, Clay is hired to be Senior Assets Manager for the park. And this is where I believe they start to really dabble in experimentation, changing of the genomes, because by 2009, they'd already created the first hybrid, the Scorpius Rex. And they said that the Scorpius Rex, believe it or not, is created by InGen, although it was created in Jurassic world. With the pieces in place, it's become more and more clear how Masrani has taken advantage of the situation. For starters, they were always set on perfecting the genetic process to make dinosaurs. Now with resources secured and a location to work with, that is more than possible. From early work of the genetic hybrids what was shown in Jurassic Park 3, Masrani had made steady headway since acquiring InGen in 1998 with the raptors and the spinosaurus being a byproduct of that early experimentation. Fast forward to 2009, he's already got this full park, a restricted section, and who knows what else being experimented on in the restricted section. We know that that first hybrid was created in 2009 and wasn't seen until 2015, so they kept that in stasis in the restricted section. What else could they have and experimented on? Well, let's continue. We also know that in 2009, Maisie Lockwood is created through clone by Benjamin Lockwood's daughter, Charlotte Lockwood, who died from an illness of that same year. And we know Charlotte Lockwood was involved in Isla Sona. So is she involved with Masrani Global Corporation as well? That's for another video. 
And in 2012, Simon Mizrani gives Doctor Wu full authorization to create a new species after the board requests a new Jurassic World attraction. This is where they start construction on the Indominus Rex. And in the same year, 2012, the Integrated Behavioral Raptor Intelligence Study Project, poof, that's a mouthful, was created and started, or in essence, the Ibris Project, which made Blue, Charlie, Delta, Echo, and Gamma, believe it or not. Again, all these were kept completely secret from the public and the outside world and were kept in the restricted section. All these untold secrets of Jurassic World and their experiments are now coming to light. And in 2015, Simon Mazrani announces a boost in the InGen funding equal to 225 million. And these funds will be used to support InGen Security Operating Division. This begs the question, why is Mizrani doing this? Well, he's using the InGen name to cover all his dirty deeds, all these secrets, all these experimentations. Because if anything ever get out, he could always say that it was InGen. And who were InGen owned by? Again, Mizrani Global. InGen was also head of the Ibris project, which was the experimentation of these raptors. And by May 2015, the Indominus Rex paddock was complete. And by July, the intended time for the arrival of the Indominus Rex. But by this point, they'd already made two Indominus Rexes, a black and a white one. And if you want to know all about that, check out this video here. And they'd already experimented on countless dinosaurs in the restricted section. Just to name a few, they had a Carnosaurus in there, an Allosaurus in there, the Dilophosaurus in there. All these animals were clearly never shown to the public and were used in some type of experimentation and in the makeup of other genomes. They could easily be keeping the Jurassic Park 3 raptors in there, as I explained in one of my previous videos. But in March 2016, after the fall of Jurassic World, it basically all becomes canon that Mizrani Global and InGen were in breach of the Gene Guard Act. Several employees of the two companies come forward with incriminating evidence against their employers, looking into charges of bioethical misconduct against Henry Wu and into a possible violation of the Gene Guard Act. Now, what would that be then? Well, obviously, their experiments with the Spinosaurus, with the Scorpius Rex, with the Indominus Rex, everything in there is all pointing to these experiments and who is behind it all was Rani Global. We also know that pre-2018, a list of species, including the Spinosaurus, was subject to cruelty on Isla Nubla by unknown causes and their DNA samples remained unconfirmed. So does that mean that Jurassic World did really have the Spinosaurus in the restricted section prior to it being stolen by Manticorp? Hmm, food for thought. The Jurassic franchise has promised over the years that it is far more than meets the eye in terms of continuity and lore. With that said, it is indeed possible that there are other secrets, other experiments, other untold stories of Jurassic World which we might not ever find out. But this video has uncovered some truths today and I do hope you've enjoyed it. And if you did, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe and I'd like to thank my patrons and YouTube members for supporting these videos. Thank you very much, guys. Don't forget to check out all my other videos because they're on the channel. You will enjoy them. They're very much like this. And I will see you guys in the next one. Shadows out.